people have asked me how I deal with my stress because there are times that I look like I'm happy but uh, I'm not because I cried you can always see it in my swollen eyes or something like that yes um, I do get hurt sometimes I do and uh, I do but as long as I know that I'm doing the right thing as long as I know that I have given it my best I leave it to God I don't worry about it because what I notice about worrying about stuff is that uh, they can kill you you know I remember when my dad died um, I just come from the funeral I was mourning my dad because it had been 18 years before I saw my dad so I worried so much I worried uh, I mean, after I came back, I was feeling so guilty, the pain. And I remember one day walking into Walmart. And uh, while I was in Walmart, I had my son with me. And I forgot where I was. For a split second, I had to kind of like look around and walk around. And I was so scared because I, I couldn't remember where I was. That is how much the stress had gone into me that I couldn't even remember where I was. At that moment, I realized that if I didn't stop crying and weeping and doing and worrying too much about my dad, it was going to hurt me. You know, I had to shake myself out. Let me tell you, things will happen. I've had things happen in my life that's horrible. That's horrible. But... If there's one thing I can tell you that held me together, it's, 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 it's the Lord Jesus Christ. It's my belief and my trust in Jesus Christ. Even in times that I didn't even know how God because was going to provide uh, food for me, how, where God was, where I was going to get stuff, like my green card when I didn't have it those years, when I didn't have... Um, didn't know if we had the daycare or sometimes all I used to do was just call Jesus and I just used to pray and trust God and something used to come through sometimes we pray and we say we want God to to answer us by let's say you want a car so you want God to come and give you a car well you pray for a car God gives you a job sometimes you pray for a car and God tells you to wait, so you end up getting something else. Or, or or God shows you that, hey, getting a car this time is not the right time. Maybe you need to wait. You need to learn to listen to God, even in times that things are so bad. Learn to listen to God. If you don't listen to God, you can be praying, praying, praying. But if you do not hear God, everything is going to be messed up. If you don't hear God... You can pray for a long time, you know, and and, and, and the, the answer will be right on your face. But you, you can't see it because you're expecting something else. You know, God does not answer prayers like you expect him to answer. Like um, whenever my husband preaches, he says, oh, God is not like a genie in a bottle whereby you just rub and the genie comes out and the genie does uh, all the miracles or whatever it is, you know. God comes at his own timing. You know, there's a timeline that God has. There's a time for Jesus. Uses a, God uses a different time. So you can say, I want this car by three months, but God knows that you don't need that car within three months because you have all these things coming up, you know. So whenever you pray, listen to God also. Listen to what he's telling you. Open your eyes and give God a chance to talk to you, to guide you on what to do. Because a lot of times, we are already praying and the answer is right on our face. The answer is just right there on our face. You're praying for um, for a job, but but you, the job you have could be the job that he wants you to stay, to, to stay on because you're about to get a promotion. If you don't see it, you know, 
you don't see it so i'm here to encourage you and to tell you that god has you even in times that that things look so sad and so he's there when i look at my life at times that i really really struggled i'll tell you one time i wanted to open a um what do you call it i was trying to open a dress for success to help women with domestic violence and uh i really wanted it to move fast i really did for real i was i was struggling and trying and trying and trying i was in a new city i was newly married and i kept pushing my husband and my husband kept on saying come on you just wait a little bit just, but i kept pushing you know what happened later on in my pushing we, we, i succeeded in getting that 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 dress for success open but as soon as it opened there were some things that i realized later on that i didn't have the right people around me to support me they were not really interested in that they were not really badly like in a bad way but they were more they were not geared towards what i was starting the people around me the new people that were around me this was too much for them okay this was too much for them and also that god most probably did not want me to start it there and wanted me to start it somewhere else because during the same time we got i got robbed we got robbed in that place that we had opened it so we ended up opening a different uh um ministry that ended up being outside a bigger uh, which ended up being a better it's kw steven ministries and now we are helping more 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 people and you know we got lots of donors and all that stuff so that helped so my thing to you is that sometimes you want something now but god has bigger things waiting for you and and sometimes you know we want you know me and my husband let me tell you me and my husband we um we lived in apartment um just uh, my husband has a house somewhere else and then but when i met him he was living in a different town and was um and so he lived in an apartment we didn't move when i got got married we continued living in that apartment i didn't question because of course i knew we could we could afford the, to buy a house but we had a business going that wasn't even doing well and everything let me tell you the timing of everything is god's timing when the time came when we were now able to buy a house and move from the apartment it was actually the right time of course people talk people were just like we live here or you doing this we just ignored so what i'm trying to tell you is that you might be suffering now trust god in his planning trust god in what he's doing ask god to show himself in even in the sadness and you will see him he's right there you know even in your sickness ask god to show himself you know to you you know to you to show you what's going on to prepare you in in what is coming and everything you know because sometimes we want something even for our kids we want something for our kids which god says no your kid don't need this you 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 don't need to be working on that for your kid or maybe you said oh god i want um i want i'm trying to give examples i'm not even thinking anyways i want you to get encouraged and to know that jesus came and left us with a gift the gift of the holy spirit if you're feeling sad if you're feeling miserable if you're feeling let down by friends if you're feeling like the whole world is against you if you're feeling lonely ask the lord to be with you pray about it because he's right there ask the holy spirit to guide you and to be with you to help you out and then when he says that when you ask god leave it alone and then just listen to voice god's voice 
excuse me, sometimes the answers are right there. I hope this encourages you. You have a good night. I'm going to sleep. Bye.